Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of um, Road to a Billion in-game Gold. In this episode I really want to discuss the changes to legendaries that have just been released by Blizzard. Well not been released yet but they've released the information for them uh, for patch 1.04. Um, the main points I really want to break into in this episode are the current situation of legendaries. They're useless basically, there's no, there's no point in them whatsoever. And the new legendaries and my thoughts on them because they look brilliant. I, I can't wait to use some of them, but they're going to be really expensive. <laughs> um, but I also want to discuss that there seems to be no news on set items and if they're going to change at all. And then finally, at the end of the uh, episode, we'll do the usual items of the day, current time and totals. And yeah, let's go straight into things. First of all, I want to show you some of the uh, the current items, the current legendaries available in the auction house and the fact that the majority of them are all useless really we'll look at some one handeds now, you see now straight away for any uh, one handed uh, weapon users out there that the strongest on the entire auction house of uh, for DPS wise is currently at 735.5 which is the Emprian Messenger which I'm not going to lie I've never heard of because I've only ever used the Demon Hunter um, if we look at some uh, some crossbows. We've got oh, we've got a manticore that nearly hits um, a thousand damage, but it's got plus 159 strength, which is really brilliant for a, a demon hunter. Just what you need. Not um, and yeah, so as you can see, they're not the greatest of items at the moment. Um, if we have a quick look at armor, there are some reasonable armor, but most of them um, are set items. I mean. The arm, legendary armor at, at the moment um, is it can be considered useful, especially I remember in my old set before I sold everything, I had a couple of um, legendary uh, armor items, including what's it called? Is it Hell Hellcat Waste Guard? Yeah, this is a this is a belt. It looks absolutely useless, but there is a rare. Um, a rare roll on it which means it can give you plus um, d uh, max discipline which is brilliant and and it's the only belt that I know of in the game that can give plus discipline for um, for a demon hunter um, so if you can find that mixed with some decks there we go here's an example no decks on this one though no. um, we've got Hellcat Waste Guard plus seven maximum discipline which is really unusual so I'm, I'm quite looking forward to seeing the new upgraded version of that and yeah so the current state of legendaries are that they don't really go for that much money they're not worth their rarity I mean you look if you look at we'll just have a look at all items here if you look at we'll look at crossbows because that's what I know I know my crossbows you look at the uh, first few pages of this you're not gonna see any legendaries you're not gonna see legendaries for hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of pages you've just got rares and blues and that's it so hoping I'm hoping and by the looks of uh, what Blizzard have just released I think it was yesterday may have been the day before we're going to see some great upgrades though I have seen people complaining about these upgrades already but I think it's going to add something add a bit more spice to the game and make things seem a bit newer again because at the moment I'm already bored of doing these runs that I've been doing Right, and uh, for this next part of the video, um, I'm going to break down uh, the, uh, the legendary video that Blizzard released uh, yesterday. Um, basically, I'll, I'll watch it through with you guys um, and give you some ideas of the new weapons. This is Ambo's Pride, old to new. Some more weapons that just look nicer in the menus, I suppose. Bit of ice, bit unnecessary. Uh, we've got the Butcher's Carver. I've picked that up before a couple of times actually from Butcher Runs, but it's, it's been useless until now. Right, turn this down a bit. And then we've got uh, this this weird thing, I don't know what that is. And Etreu, um, a bow. I'm not really a bow fan, but hey, it might convince me otherwise. But yeah, look at these boots 300 dex, 12 movement speed, 70 resist all. It's madness. I can't wait to use them. Just some more adverts for uh, how they look. 
don't know why they needed to go through this many to be honest it's a bit bit unnecessary but yeah look at this I'm guessing this is quite good look at the strength on that and damage to demons and yeah so basically we're looking at some major major upgrades for legendary items and oh manticore we mentioned that already and these upgrades are gonna I think change the entire scene on the auction house because even if the stats are a little lower I really want to try some of these special effects out like like as you're seeing here with the fox falls and pig stick I've never heard of it but it's the most amazing name for a weapon ever now pus spitter I think this is a single handed crossbow it might be a two handed one I'm not certain that looks amazing I want raven wing in my life right now bit relevant to me but it looks a bit shiny I picked that up the other day, it was worthless. Maybe it'll be worth something next time I get it. it does look quite nice. Plus you can summon an angel. I mean who wouldn't want an angel? The Gidbin. Yeah, I'll be um I'll be linking up the uh, the original video in the description so you can take a look at this yourself without my uh, annoying commentaries on top. And there he is. Well, there the logo is. I should put that in my videos. It looks a lot nicer than just a plain little image. So yeah, that all looks really exciting. Um, I would uh, say in comparison, they're really incomparable. The uh, new legendaries compared to old. They have. They will definitely have a use now. They look just. I just can't wait to use some of them, and I'm sure you guys can't either with some of those special effects and then incredibly high stats on some of them. Um, and yeah, the only uh, thing I do have to add from that is uh, I was looking looking around. You can correct me. I'm probably am wrong, but I haven't seen any mention on set items yet, such as Natalia's set for Demon Hunters. Um, I don't know if they're going to be changed. So if you can. Give me a heads up on that. If you know anything, let me know. Um, but at the moment, it looks like set items um, are staying the same. So that that could be good for current Natalia set owners. You won't have to get rid of your stuff immediately. And yeah, you should be able to keep with what you've got. Especially with that um, the uh, max discipline recharge on the full set of Natalias. You can't beat that. So yeah, that that's all the uh, the topics I really wanted to cover today. Um, if you have any uh, thoughts or uh, likes or dislikes, the usual really, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and we'll go on to item of the day. I've got a bit of bad news. I only, I've only done one run in the last two days. Um, I was distracted by Battlefield. Um, so for item of the day, we're going to skip that today because I have no nothing to show you guys. Um, and... Uh, yeah, and um, I'm wondering if anyone has any interest in some future series I'm thinking of doing. Um, we're going to do a, a Daisy playthrough right from the beginning, as in with the same as Diablo. Me and my American friend, I think we're planning to do like a, a, a tag team sort of thing. Um, so if you any in, have any interest in that, please comment and um, say what you'd like to see in a Daisy series. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some Let's Play, but not for over a month yet. And that's going to be, um, hopefully, streaming off my Xbox. We're going to be looking at some uh, Borderlands 2 playthroughs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's about all, really. We'll just do um, a catch-up of our current total. So yeah, our, our total's um, reached over 5 million now, just. I think we're about 5.1 million in approximately 12 hours. But I need to reiterate that there is a lot of money still tied up in items at the moment so the the total is probably around 30 to 35 million so that's not bad um i'll see you guys soon yeah see you later